Hi everybody, this is Pam Coey and I'm at the Rocky Mountain Grange where my studio is. Here's a view of the mountains. They're so beautiful today. It's uh, in the fall and things are getting a little bit cooler. These are the uh, Bitterroot Mountains. And there's the view that I see every day when I drive to my studio. And I just thought I'd give you a quick little tour. I'm getting ready for my Master Class 2, which I'm very excited about. It's starting today. So let's take a look inside and see how the studio has changed. So this Grange was built in about 1939 and the building itself is, you know, it's old, but it's in really good condition. I'm just going to take a quick walk up here, show you that there's an area for these events like wedding receptions and parties and bands. You can see the stage and all kinds of chairs set up. Anyways, it's a really nice venue, so uh, I'm really glad that this place is here and being taken such good care of. Now we go downstairs. Pretty soon you're going to hear our dogs barking because they're inside the studio. As you can see, because of the highway, I have to keep close tabs on them because I don't really trust them so near to the highway. But here are the boxes that my students have sent ahead of time and they're arriving today, like I said. And here's one area where we're going to be doing some fun warm-ups with some innovative tools. They're just attached to these long dowel rods to give a lot of freedom of movement and uh, just to kind of warm up and loosen up. And we're going to be using white paint, uh, white gesso, and black gesso, alternative, uh, alternating between the two. And then over here are some large boxes that contain um, 48 by 48 inch panels that are waiting for me to take them out and gesso them and get started and I'm very excited. I'll be working on probably up to 20 paintings at a time in the near future getting ready for a show, a solo exhibition in 2020. So I open the door and there are the puppies. Hi guys. Oops. Hi Vincent. Hi Cornelia. Hi Cornelia. Oh yes. Hi guys. Okay. Okay, be quiet. Okay, now be quiet. So over here I've set up a place where the students can sit and if I do a demo then they'll be facing this wall here and I've got my table set up over there and my a whiteboard and then over here is where I normally paint but I've been doing a lot of videotaping and so all that is kind of taken down for now. Most of my videos are now done for the online course. They're being beta tested and over here just giving you a different view. My desk, I moved that and <clears throat> wanted to give you an idea of how I've moved my walls. They're movable walls. And I had those built after the fire because the walls are, as you can see, they're concrete and I couldn't really hang anything on them. So I had these walls built because they're made of plywood and I can screw the nails into them and actually hang work on there. The goal of Masterclass 2 uh, for this particular class, uh, I asked each student, you know, what is, what is their goal? And for the most part, because we have walls that are seven feet tall and four feet wide, a lot of them want to work large. But if that's not their goal, then it's a very individualized one-on-one -on -one workshop where each person will be doing something different. They may bring older work that they want to finish. They may be trying different uh, types of uh, limited palettes or you know, just, just each one's going to be different. And so I'm going to be, you know, just keeping track of everything that happens this week. It's going to be a really fun time. I know these gals, they've taken workshops from me before. They've taken the master class one in Mineral Point at Shake Ray Galley. And here are some other stations. So there are four on this side and three on the other side. And then I've got these work tables set up just with supplies that they can all share. So I've got you know, texture materials in the box here. And then I've got tools that we made. Many of these were made for the um, Master Class 1. And you can see how unusual they are. And I'm going to have a special section, bonus section in my online course when it launches um, on how to make these tools. And you don't always have to buy them, obviously. You can make your own tools and be pretty crazy with them. Uh, these were just a lot of fun to make and so again I'll have a tutorial in the bonus section of my online course. Here's another one. 
and here's one with some wider bands on it. There's some foam mats and some newsprint and tissue paper and some extra supplies so that students hopefully don't have to carry everything with them. And then I've got a cutting table here for cutting their own stencils and uh, tools. And there are the puppies. That's their favorite place. They like, hi guys, say good morning. Say good morning. Hi. Oh, you're wondering what this camera is, aren't you? So they're my buddies. They keep me company. So again, here's just um, a little bit of a, a studio tour. I thought I would show you this before my students arrive and then I'll be doing some videos throughout the week. They'll be here for four working days and um, it'll be really exciting to see what they do. And they're a great bunch of women. They're coming mostly from the Midwest. Um, one of the students lives part-time in Edinburgh and so I guess that's mostly what I wanted to show you was just the layout and how I moved the walls around and I apologize for the last studio tour where the sound was not good. I didn't have my, um, I had my microphone but it must not have been working very well. So anyways, that's the studio tour and uh, I'll be showing you more footage as the week progresses. Say bye, Vincent.